So tell your neighbors there, there's two aspects to the purpose of God. So, so I want you to understand this because if you don't understand this, you're going to get caught up in some stuff. If you don't get this, you're going to be overwhelmed sometime. If you don't get this, you got to understand this. There are two aspects. One is the ultimate aspect of the purpose of God. That means God is seeking to accomplish something that he sees good and valuable. Ultimately, God is seeking to accomplish something that he sees as good and valuable. So when we say it all works out for the good, this, is, this points to the ultimate purpose of God. Am I making sense? That means God is not bad. God is not evil. God's not trying to get you. God's not, God's not mad at you because if God was trying to get you, you would be God. God does not try. He just is and does. So, so stop lying to yourself. I think God's trying to get me. No, nope. if God's trying to get you, you're going to know. You got it. By the time you figured out God was trying to get you, you already got. So if you're thinking that God's trying to get you, that's because that's because you have a misunderstanding about how God works in the ultimate, that there is a greater plan. There is something so much bigger. There's something so much larger. There's something so um, it's so vast that God. And listen, and this didn't start yesterday. This ultimate plan started from eternity past. That means this ultimate plan, he considered you in eternity before time. He considered you in eternity before time. That's why your grandmother met your grandfather. He orchestrated. He brought people from other countries. That's why when you look at Ancestry.com, you got a little England, a little Jamaica, a little Asia, a little Africa, a little all this stuff mixed all in. And you sitting there going, that, that's why you got that, that, that straight hair coming out of here and that curly hair over here. <laughs> because God has this ultimate plan, which means your, your ancestors, ancestors, God was shifting them around, listen, to give birth to you. He was working very diligently trying to make sure that when you needed to arrive on earth, you would arrive on earth. Am I making sense? That is the ultimate plan of God. You're not here by mistake. I don't you you get over the fact that you don't know your daddy. Get over the fact that, that your mama never said nothing. My dad didn't appreciate me. Get get you gotta get over that because you caught you caught up in the wrong thing. The fact that that little piece of sperm found that egg. However it worked its way in there, under whatever circumstances, whether it was a honeymoon suite or the back seat, it found its way. Am I, am I, am I making sense? And whatever diseases and whatever, whatever issues were happening in the world that day, God said, I'm going to allow you to dodge all those issues. And I'm going to allow you to dodge all those issues. Whether your mama took prenatal vitamins or not, whether your mama was smoking weed or not, whether your mama was drinking or not, she's, hey, God was like, I'm going to let you go through all of that and I'm going to weave you in all, all that because I need you to be around in 2023. Come on, somebody say, I'm not here by mistake. Now, that, that means this, that God has an ultimate plan. And here's the deal. But, but your life is always connected to eternity. Your life is never disconnected from eternity. Your problem is you get caught up in today. And you don't realize that today is nothing but part of the grand scheme of what God is doing. I am, I, listen, I am a being in God's eternal plan. Can you, can you imagine? That, that, that means that when God thought about what he wanted for the universe, yes, he thought about you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to make sense. 
How can you have self-esteem issues when God was the one who drafted you? How can you be like, I don't feel good about myself, but God felt so good about you that he wanted you to be alive right here, right now. Am I making sense? Because you're a part of God's ultimate. Am I making sense? Makes sense. Now, here's the deal. This is where that's the ultimate side. The other side is the proximate, which means this. God uses our life and the world today and our creation and our lives to help bring out his ultimate. God works in the proximate to bring forth his ultimate. God is working my today for your tomorrow. He is, he, he is exercising and moving and monitoring and moving things around. I got the friends I have in my proximate and I have the enemies I have in my proximate because of God wants to, what God wants to do in the ultimate. I'm going to make it sense. Joseph said this, what my brothers meant for evil, I'm going to make it sense. That's proximate. God meant for good. That's ultimate. Am I making sense? Joseph understood why. Joseph understood, and he had, he, he, listen, that means he had to deal with his proximate. That means I got to deal with the fact that I'm in the pit. I got to deal with the fact that I'm in the prison. I got to deal with the fact that I'm being accused. That's just my proximate. Am I making sense? My problem is, your problem is, that you allow the proximate to speak to your ultimate. And they say, you know, well, God, I guess I'm going to always be that way. That, you're talking about the proximate. You're talking about what God is doing right now. But what they got to do with God, what God's really, really doing? Am I making sense? That means God has a bigger plan, a bigger plan, a bigger plan. Somebody say bigger, bigger, bigger. That means God is doing something greater, and your problem is this. Go to my next slide. Go to my next slide. I've got to figure this out. I've got to figure this out. My greatest battle is managing my mind while God is moving in my circumstances. This is my difficulty. I'm trying to keep myself together. Why? Because I've got all these thoughts and conclusions that are popping up every day, and you've got to manage all of this stuff in your mind while God is moving in your circumstances. That means that God is saying that your proximate has nothing to do with your ultimate. And I've got to make sure, yes, I am broke today because God is teaching me how to manage myself. Yes, I am prospering today, not because I'm the most brilliant, not because I'm the smartest, but because I'm in a good season. And I've got, and I've got to grab all the lessons of this good season so, so that I can manage the next season. That don't make it sense. But it's just a season because it's just proximate. That don't make it sense. Stop being hurt. Yes, you got a divorce, but you know what? That divorce helped you so much. You finally know how to pick people with good sense. You look at them, you say, oh, no, oh, no. Oh, mm, mm, mm. And you can help people. You look at them coming around the corner, you be like, baby, no, 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 come here, come here, come here. let me talk to you. Mm -mm. Leave that alone. No, get away from that. And, and, you know, and they're like, you don't understand what he look like. Oh, I understand. He long, tall, and crazy. You don't want that. I'm making sense. Man of God, I, I, I see what you're looking at. I see how she's looking at you and you looking at her. Uh-huh. Yep, yep. She got, she, she built like you like it. The problem is, you don't, her mind ain't built right. Am I making sense? So, so what she can do with the rest of her body ain't going to matter in six months. In six months, you're gonna, you ain't going to want to talk to her. In six months, you ain't going to want to sleep beside her. In six months, you're going you gonna to be like, just leave me alone. Just, just leave me alone. Just, just leave. And listen, and she's going to some, she gonna be as fine as she was six months ago, but, some, but something changed. Why? Be, because, because you realize something now. That means the painful parts of your life, the stupid decisions that you made, the dumb conclusions that you came to were not because you are evil, not because you it was because God was like, I got to teach you this 
because because you got to learn this and you got to teach it to somebody else because your life is a part of somebody else's life. Am I, am I, am I making sense? So you got to say, I'm, listen, this is why I'm a better I'm a better parent now that I'm a grandparent. Now I'm like, oh, oh, this is how this works. And, and, you got, and you got to tell your kids the truth. You say, we were just experimenting on you. We, I mean, I said, we, we, didn't really, we didn't know what we were doing. I, I promise you, we didn't know. You know, but, but, you know now, now we don't we don't finally figure it out. Now, you know, because kids like, I can't believe you let them do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't know no better back then. I was, I was trying. Uh, listen, whatever I was, decision I was making with you was, was the best I had. Now, now I got a little bit more sense, so it, uh, I, that, I, I'm not going to sweat that no more. I'm, I'm, I'm making sense. Make it sense. Why? Because you're better. That means that your experiences, if you're smart, makes you better. And that God is not. Here's the deal. God is not up in heaven flipping pages because you messed up. God is not sitting around saying, oh. No, 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 no. Because if he was to do that, that would say that he was not omniscient. If you could disappoint God, it would, it would mean that there was something that you could do that he was unaware of. You cannot disappoint God because disappointment is, is an insult to his omniscience. Either he's all-knowing or he's not. And if he's all-knowing, that means that he actually knows and knew all the stuff you're going to do when he drafted you. When he directed, listen, when he directed that DNA to come together, he said, yeah, I, know, I know exactly what's going to happen. Am I making sense? So here's the deal. Now, you can disappoint you. Because you're not omniscient. But you cannot disappoint God because he already knows. Am I making sense? You can't surprise God because he's everywhere at the same time. Am I making sense? So God knows that you're sitting there saying, well, I bet you I could. And, and, and he, he, he knows you're saying that. But he, and, he, and he's saying that then he says, I'm everywhere at the same time. He says, he says, and the fact that you say you could now, he says, that insults my omnipotence. That, that, that I have all power. So if I want, listen, if, I, if I'm not trying to set you up for nothing Amen. other than to set you up to do what I want you to do. Amen. But I already know what I want you to do. Go to my next slide. Let me show you this. Ephesians 3, 3 and 17. I'm going to paraphrase it here because I just want to bring something out. It says that you being rooted and grounded in love, listen to this, may comprehend or may be able to comprehend Listen, with all the saints, what is the breadth, the length, the height, and the depth? I'll say it again. What is the breadth, the length, the height, and the depth? You got to realize this, that God operates in 4D. And your problem is you, oper you, you, you operate in 2D. <laughs> <laughs> some, some of y'all say two days. That, 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 listen, that means, listen, you can't run away fast enough to get away from God. You can't go low enough. David said, if I open my eyes in hell, he says, you are there. So, so some of us say, God, oh God, I've been to some dark places. And God like, yeah, no. I was right, I was right there. I was waiting on you to get there. And God, literally, God's like, you ready to go? You ready to get about here? <laughs> I'm, I'm making sense. But it says, it says this, that my, my problem is, saints, that I can't comprehend, listen, the 4 d of God. Which means that, that I don't understand how I can be so distraught, but you can still love me. I don't understand how my, how my family could talk bad about me and you say good things about me. I don't understand how my heart can talk bad about me 
and you still love me. I, I, and I'm having a hard time with that because God is saying, I love you in 4D. Yes. And, th and that means that, 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 that in, 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 the, in the place of God, there is no place where you can go where he's not. And there's no place you can go to escape his love. It's just, it just is. His love ain't even getting there. It just is. Am, am I making sense? See, see I, I want you to understand this. This is so important for you. Why? Because many people get frustrated with their proximate life because they lose scope of the ultimate. Am I making sense? You're having a bad day. We ain't in denial. Am I making sense? But it's a bad day. But a bad day, in, 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 look, in the scope of eternity, yeah. is a speck. Yeah. Yeah. That make sense. And all you got to do is just live out the speck. Because tomorrow is another day. Yeah. And every day he gives you 24 hours more. He said, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to gift this to you. I'm going to give you 24 hours, all right? This is the day that the Lord has made, right? I will rejoice, rejoice and be what? Be glad in it. So he gave, he's going to give me 24 more hours to get myself together. He's going to give me 24 more hours to undo mistakes. He's going to give me 24 hours. And then once I'm finished with it, that, if I'm living, he's going to give me another 24 hours. The Bible says his mercies are made new every morning. That means when I wake up again, I got another set of mercy for where I messed up yesterday. Thank you for worshiping with us today. If you like this message, you can find the rest at cmllcstore.com. We invite you to join us again for our extraordinary worship services every Sunday at 1030 a.m., Sundays at 4 p.m., and Wednesdays at 730 p.m. Central, where Dr. Moody teaches how to understand the Bible, and you can get all your biblical questions answered. We look forward to connecting with you. We ask that you subscribe to The Rock ATX on YouTube and follow The Rock ATX on Facebook and Instagram to stay connected to all The Rock is doing. You can also get connected on our website at therockatx.org. Again, thank you for worshiping with us and be blessed.